So howdy everyone, welcome back to more for Let's Play the Sinking Sea Blind. I am the Black Shadow, and uh, we're about to go to places we probably have no right being, uh, and that is the Devil's Teeth. We have located uh, where the expedition took place, and we've uh, got ourselves geared up and ready for the trip. As such, I've said I've made my way back to Pier 3, which is where we can make our trip to the Devil's Teeth. Before we do, uh, one thing we want to quickly do here if we go into skills, we have gained ourselves another knowledge point, uh, which we gained at some point. We're pretty good at getting another one as well, I just completely missed it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use this just to put in more experience and gain. It's the best thing for it. Let's just go ahead and do that and call it a day. Um, you know, if the game is going to make me have this kind of uh, experience system, let's just get these points done as quickly as physically possible. Because the early game's not too bad. We have bowed for a bit of, of inventory, admittedly. But we'll be all right. Let's go and move on. There's obviously dead people still around here, you know, as you do. <laughs> this is our boat. Yikes. All right, then. So here we go. So that has taken us here. Oh, here we go, yeah, to the Devil's Teeth. This is the spot and the bay. Now, whether anyone is actually here or not is uh, another matter entirely, but um, let's go look around. Oh, our drop point. Damn it, I wanted that first aid. Alright. Doesn't shock me as the best vision source. That man has uh, has has some balls. Ah, oh. this is definitely different. Diving. Okay, so we can go explore well down here. So we've got uh, harpoons, which can stun hostile creatures. Uh, and we got flares, which can lie away and distract things as well. If we get damaged, we need to hold RB to recover our diving suit pressure before it gets completely compromised. Ah, oh, yeah, and see, RB has like this, uh, this thing here. Very cool. All right, well. Let's go exploring. So we need to follow these lamps, except the way they came. This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? I mean, you can't be called the Sinking City and, um, you know, not actually have, uh, you know, like some underwater segments. This is pretty cool. So here we go, so we've got uh, the harpoon gun here. Which I guess we can use to kind of fend off dudes. And we have a flare gun as well, which also looks like it. Okay, it's both the same shot here. And they have different different functionalities. Okay, very good. Let's go explore. We don't necessarily want to go too far off the beaten path, but you never know, we might find some interesting stuff down here. The freaking propeller there. Oakmont University. Hmm. That's not a good sign. Alright, let's follow the lamps. Oh! Oh! Well! I get a distinct impression that, uh, yeah, problems, problems. Am I really just jumping down here? I guess so. 
I don't know how I'm going to get back, but I guess that's a problem for future Shadow. Mm. There's some, uh, there's some bad shit down here. Somehow, I'm not surprised. Some quite a flare off here. We need to be a little bit careful of our sanity here. I have no way of just, say, just straight using stimulants and stuff. It's not an option. Unfortunately, combat down here is going to be, um, sluggish. I think that was pretty bad. Um, uh, eyes. I'm sorry, everyone. Ah, of course. They did say something about an air pocket, didn't they? The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. Oh my god. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Well, the good news, there are survivors down here. Bad news is, um... Well. There's a lot of bad news. Those suits are all cut up. Do that themselves? They destroyed their own suits. It's almost like they don't want to go back. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. So this is the game saying that we want to do here. Let's take a photo. That's evidence we can uh, show to Frog Morton. Sancta Mare, be our eyes, eyes to see the distant stars. Hark, he comes, the sacred bull bellied bearer of splendor. Take me, make me, I beg you. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes! First, second, third, opened by the aura! You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. I don't think you can. Nonsense! <laughs> but... But it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake. You holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. T 
take my worship and grant your kindness, I pray you. <laughs> I like his waistcoat. We'll get to this in a second. Let's keep looking around for now. Cave does go deeper. It's a camera stand. Can I like use it here, or do I need to like take a picture of it? Oh, Let's see. That is uh, it's pretty frightening. It's pretty frightening. Well, I guess these guys got what they were looking for. And more. But yeah, they've just destroyed their own fucking suits. They are... They are pretty content to stay here. They have no choice now. They can't get out. Artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? Very weird. You see now, do you? The splendid horror of the truth. Crazy fuckers. There's a uh, few points to be had here. Let's have a look. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Wait, they didn't take out their own suits? Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. Hmm. Shivering. This is, no. Get away from me. I think I'm starting to get the picture. I suppose it probably happened in that specific order here. Well, we obviously know that there was um the temple the moment they take the keys. The excavation documents got destroyed and such. You were covering their tracks. This no, get away from me. In that water, though. Hmm. Get the seed and the seal now. The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. Then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. Yeah, that is one very notable thing. Where's the professor in all this? That's the question. She's not here. Hmm. So here's the uh, picture of the statue we took. Very, very weird. So here's the evidence uh, that we found. The picture we've taken. And here's the attack. Yeah. The ears of Alphas ambushed the expedition on the seabed. Uh, and Kamazee had discovered. Waiting to Professor Doe took the artifact, and then attacked. They chief professor and the object lead the remainder of the expedition to their fate. So the dudes didn't um, sabotage their own suits. They got destroyed by the inn's mouthers. Damn. So we've got plenty of evidence here in our mind palace. So there's certain things we can, um, we can uh, put together here. So there's so, yeah. We have a decision to make as to what we want to do with the survivors that are here. This is a good point. 
Can we just leave them here? I mean, I don't think we can. I think abandoning them is a bit ridiculous, right? I think we have to try, right? Yeah, the hybrids wanted to, wanted to recover the strange artifact and take the runes and find the one responsible for disturbing it. They definitely did. Yeah, that's what I thought also made sense. The only the madness the tiny was caused by Albert's presence. Yeah, he came back from here and um, they exiled him onto a lifeboat to stop it. If it was the only way to get uh, out of it. Yeah, Albert was the source of the madness. That much is very much, cr um, very much makes a lot of logical sense. And the Union's Malpas, yeah, they took, they looked to, to steal it. They know what's happened. They need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. And so, with all this information here, we can now make the determination. Yeah. We have to save the expedition. I must tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for the Harriet. We could have abandoned them and said they were dead, but I think there must be, if there's a chance to save them, we got to try. And if it makes things worse, I mean, they're already pretty, pretty shitty, you know? So, yeah. But you can also go down this route as well. Leave the scientists to die, but I'm not going to. We're going we're gonna to take this plot path here and we're going to try and save these people and do what we can. So with our evidence and everything uh, put together and our information gathered, I reckon it's time for us to make our way back to Robert Frogmorton. Now, he might decide that it's not worth trying to help these people. It's not my call to make. I'm hoping this just takes me back to the uh, the raise point here. Well. That works. Oh, by the way, pressure change. Oof. That'll be unpleasant. Evidence has been updated more, as of course it has. So yeah. So, let's get going, folks. Make our way to the Frogmorton Manor and give him our uh, information. Let him know what we found and decide what the hell we do next. Oh, that's probably not good. Charles, this is, this is not a good time for this. Shouldn't have done that. Guess we're back. The Devil's Reef Hotel. Our old tokens. Ever again, they say. <laughs> wow. 
It's not quite how it works, is it? I don't know what the hell we're doing back here, but, uh, well, apparently we found our way back to the Devil's Reef, so I guess that's good. Alright, then. A couple of, of, um, you know, outfits. What the hell? Let's throw on the wind coat. What the hell? Let's uh, style ourselves up a little bit here as we get ready for our trip to, um, speak with Robert Frogmore, do you know? Car looks ridiculous, though. I can't take that seriously. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the jacket. I I can't I can't do that. It's too absurd. Is it going to be explained what I'm doing back here? No. Okay, very good. Hey, you. I'm watching you, newcomer. I'm sure you are. Well, I've done some of your letters, and hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, do some more of them with any. Any luck. We found three of them. Not bad. Alright then. So, as I was saying before we got so rudely interrupted, make our way to uh, the Frogwall Manor. Luckily, I've already been up here once before. We do have ourselves a quick travel point. We can just use that nice and easily. Save some video editing, which is always good. Give him the deets. Oh, yeah. This is still happening. Now the mortician has touched him up well. Poor guy. I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? Why didn't the sailors help them? Uh, I mean... A lot of carnage. The crew of the Titania mutinied against Sanders. The only man who escaped was your son. They put him on a lifeboat. The mutineers will face justice. Throwing Albert to the whims of the sea, he will be avenged. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? Doesn't help as well this whole Innsmouth of Frogmorton um, rivalry. It's not going to assist at all. Uh, I mean... I don't think they wanted to kidnap her, but I think they end up having to. The Innsmouthers, they knew about the temple. They waited there, hiding until the professor took what the Innsmouthers call the seal. But how did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? It seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. Then they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers! Do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. Delicate? I delicate when it matters. So shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton. Not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a 
I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. Alright. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. Alright. Have a good day. Fair enough. All right, and we got ourselves a absolute ton of uh, experience there. Very, very nice. That's what we get for uh, doing some main quest work. All right, so all sorts of things happened. So that is uh, Lost at Sea complete. We now know what happened to Albert and such and where it all began. So now we have a lot going on. So we've got Quip Pro Quip, which is our next main uh, case, uh, trying to recover the professor from the Inns Mappers who have kidnapped her. Uh, which is going to be pretty tricky. Uh, we also have as well this delicate man, which is the side quest that um, he's given us about Herbert Glover. And working out why he didn't appear to... Um, why he didn't appear to where he came from. Fair enough. I reckon we're probably going to hold off on the Cripro Crow for the time being. We've got plenty of side quests stuff to be getting into. And I feel inclined to have a bit of delve into it. So I'm probably going to delve into some of this. I'll, I'll put all this stuff on the map in a moment. First things first, let's go ahead and go to our skills. We have two knowledge points, which is pretty good. So the question is, well, what do we want to do with these things? I don't know. So we've got some options available here. Um, so we can uh, get extra quest items uh, from quest rewards. Which I guess would be probably kind of handy. Um, but there's other bits of piece as well. I haven't really had much of a chance to look into any of these. Or by not much chance, I mean I haven't really looked much into any of these particularly. Uh, to see what I might want to uh, gather next. I'm not really too sure. Uh, so this is just basically just carry more ammunition. Uh, which is just pretty standard. Uh, more health items. More bombs. He gave us some grenades. That was fun. Uh, when close to death, regenerate uh, a limited amount of health of one of fighting chance. Melee attacks uh, do better. Extra health. Uh, Falling heights deals half the damage. Manning eels deal half the damage while you were swimming. Well, that sounds that sounds pretty bad. Oops. And combat proficiency, setting traps. Um, bits and pieces like that. Um, okay. Roller faster. Again, chance to deal double damage to the roll at 10%. And then improvement with other weapons, shotguns, machine guns. We don't have very much of that, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not really too interested in that, though. I guess we'll just go ahead and improve our health. And I'm not sure recovery seems like not a bad idea if things get kind of desperate. So we're going to pick up on natural and we're going to improve our vitality as well by 15%. That seems pretty pretty straightforward but yeah we have some new weapons we've got ourselves uh we've got freaking grenades uh we've got uh leg traps we've got a lot of cool stuff all right i'm not in the mood for chit chat mr reed i understand that all right let me go and mark up the map here Right, everything is mapped out here. Uh, so we've got uh, the address for Herbert Glover, which actually isn't very far away. It might well be the first thing we're going to go ahead and do here. Uh, we have the Pride, um, which is somewhere in this vicinity, down Moreland in Old Colony, uh, down by the Shells and Salvation. Uh, we obviously have our field research as well, which is all up in Reed Heights, which is a bit of a journey for us. Um, and I might not be doing that immediately. It might, might be left for a little while. There's some potentially pretty nasty stuff there. And we do still, of course, have our Oakmont letters as well. We're still investigating, and there is one of those also rather nearby uh, here at the Exaltation um, as well. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to... Um, depends if I want to do, like, a basically a grand tour of... Um, a grand tour of the map here, which I might well consider doing, um, and just go for a full exploration. Uh, we can't really make any particular approach to quid pro quo here. Um, like, we need to investigate and work out who kidnapped her, but we don't really have anything to, to go with at the moment. We need to find more information um, throughout the city, so I guess we just kind of have to go exploring and kind of see what, we, what turns up. So, I think that's going to be the plan here. We're going to go ahead and do some letters. 
Um, and we're probably going to start off here, Lone Child, and then we're going to slowly make an anti-clockwise sweep around Oakmont here. Go exploring and kind of see whatever we find, basically. I think this sounds like not the worst of ideas. All right, then. Well, let's go adventuring, I suppose. So definitely some uh, disturbing thoughts on what may or may not be going on here at the moment. And definitely reasons to be um, heavily concerned with the current ongoings. Problem is, if the Innsmouthers are, have kidnapped Rosa Doe, I mean, that's going to be pretty bad. And that's going to cause a lot of problems, you would imagine. So that is of, uh, of deep concern. All right, then. First things first. Let's go and uh, have a look for this exaltation. Uh, Southern Oak Road, Warwick Street. Uh, between Seaside and Hillside. Apparently, I've got it here. But I don't think that's even remotely true. That's wrong. Warwick, beside, uh, Warwick Street beside Seaside and Hillside. There's Seaside. I'm actually sure what this is. I don't actually know. Hmm, I see goods to be had there, so we'll do a quick bit of looting. I'm not sure I've marked that correctly. I'm not convinced at all. I feel like I might have got it wrong. Hmm. Exaltation. Let's have a look at the uh the let's have a look at the right one here and work out what's going on. Uh, today was a man. He left a house in Southern Old Grove on Warwick Street, somewhere between Seaside and Hillside. He's met burning exaltation, wild torrent of emotions. I saw him among the monstrosities, touching them, embracing, kissing. It's a bit frightening. It's a house on Warwick Street, between Seaside and Hillside. I think it's actually here. I think this is. Uh... Um, hmm. I think it's over here somewhere. I think I've gone the wrong location here. I think I marked that incorrect, which is, you know, which is fine. It's going to happen. But I feel like it's somewhere down this way instead. <sighs> A lot of houses, though. Trying to, whoops, trying to identify which one it is could be interesting. But then again... It might also be readily identifiable. Hmm. You'll notice the general layout look, seems to look rather similar to... Um, that's a shitload of items, by the way. Damn. Kind of similar general layout to uh, Frog Morton's Manor. Hello? That's... That's pretty good. Alright, let's dance. Hello? Not, uh, I ain't messing about with you. Let's dance. Burn him. Nice. Oh, shit. Ugh. Some hiding down here. Jeez. Mm, that's going to be a problem. I need to do something about this. Stop. I don't know if that's actually having much effect here. I don't know. Uh, come on now. Let's be rational. Let's get the hell out of here. Jesus. I wonder. 
As my sanity is falling apart here. Problem. A problem. Right. I need to sort myself out here. Uh. Go ahead and uh, sort that situation out. I think that's a weak spot. Well, I just filled him with lead and eventually he fell down. And you know what? That's good enough with me. Jeez. Absolute state of that, everyone. Yikes. Yeah, there was bits and pieces to grab here. Let me go ahead and make some... Uh... Oh, we actually full on those crafting materials. Um... Let's go ahead and uh, reload here. That's a lot of shell casings. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, it's the uh, the gunpowder, which is what I'm kind of short on here. Not anything else. So, metal scraps can be used with the bear traps here. It can also be used to make these explosive grenades as well, actually. Uh, we should probably make some because we are, uh, you know, we're not sure on um, the craft materials for that. We'll make some of this as well. First aid. Uh, sure, I'll take that. We've got a tranquilizer. Oh, very nice. I only got 90 odd experience for killing that thing. That's kind of. kind of disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. See the extra uh, um, experience we're getting there. That's nice. That's bad. There's a lot of, a lot of shit here. Damn. Whoa! It's an ambush. Oh, God. Ah. Uh. Oh, nice! Got a double kill. Sweet. Very good. What's this? Holding cells. Hmm. Interesting. Definitely some business going on down here. Suspicious, if you, uh, I would strongly suspect. Let's see if there's anything else I've missed down. It doesn't look like it. Not sure what exactly it is I'm looking for down here. But definitely something. He was a busy man, that's for sure. And by busy, I mean he got up to some uh, some curious business. Putting it mildly. Let's head on up to uh, upstairs here. We don't have much of a chance to look up here. We need to work out why the hell he disappeared. So this is all good. Man, all sorts of stuff we're finding in these uh, these crates here. It's pretty nice. Um, do that. It's probably um, Glover's uh, offices, I guess. And by Glover's offices, I mean we're not. This is actually the wrong building. <laughs> Ignore me. We got what we were looking for here. Uh, the ocean was talking to me. Now it's flooding in. The ocean brings them 
If him, these buffoons would laugh behind my back. Yeah, I've got my side quest mixed up there. Sorry about that. And you get close to these creatures, I'll finally recognize my talent. One of these creatures might even carry my name. I'll be praised for all the universities. Mm. He lost his damn mind. Now, we've not found all the information here. There's something else to be discovered. There must be something down here. There's a reason this was openable and that we got ambushed. Well, I've had a good look around the place, folks, and I, I can't find anything else. And ultimately, we got the letter we needed from uh, AP here. So I'm, I'm fairly happy to suggest that this place has been resolved. And we're going to go ahead and leave that be, I reckon. I think I'm fairly satisfied enough with that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on here. All right, then. Well, that was a good spin, nonetheless. Found some stuff, got into some combat, killed some curious things. Right, there is ammo in there. I can't even pick it up. I'm actually full on ammo types for guns I don't even possess here, which is pretty impressive. All right, then. Uh, we're going to do one more thing before we leave here. We're going to head on over here to Covenside. Uh, corner of St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport. And uh, we're going to see if we can't figure out what this level is. And then we'll uh, probably call that a video, I reckon. Uh, we can go ahead and fast travel here. It should be fine. That's also one of the benefits of I'm going to spend some time just going, exploring around town. Uh, I'll be able to discover more of these quick travel locations. This is going to make my future life significantly easier. Significantly easier. Alright, we need to go this way. Yeah, I either got to do the legwork now, or I have to do it later on. So I think, uh, you know, being prepared to do that legwork now is not a, not a bad thing. Have a look at, uh, read this up here. Lone Child. Uh, here we are. But well, the small was afraid to leave home. Former parents had never come back. Today I went to the eastern streets of Coverside. The vision came on the corner of St. Elmer Lane and Kingsport. Forgotten in a locked room, hungry and frightened. I was like in the corridor and there were terrifying screams from outside. There's a box here I can open. Some alcohol, very good. I just mean, you just walk over here. We don't even need to take the uh, the thing. Okay, that's good to know. Now, the question is, what exactly is it am I looking for? There, maybe? Doesn't seem unreasonable. Oi. Say this is our location. Alright, yep. We're seeing this symbol around here. This clearly is uh, meaning something. I'm just gonna heal up quickly. Well, thing things go uh, go bad down here. We've come to expect a lot of um, you know, generally we're gonna come across some some bad things around here, so we've gotta be prepared for a fight. <laughs> 